Continuing with our previous discussion, let me talk about a special special trick which has been hidden deep inside the shape option and that's called lock drawing mode. And more importantly, where is it used? I've already given the picture for your reference on the right hand side window, but now let me show what do I mean by that. Let's for example, I may have a shape and I want to draw three subordinate shapes. So I'm using control D, D, D three times so that it gets replicated. We've talked about control D already. Now I want to place it, although I can align this quickly and then after my story begins, format, align, we have seen already, distribute vertically and thereafter align center. Next, suppose I'm using smart guide to ensure they are placed in the right parallel direction. I want to add three connecting points. Now what people do, they go to insert, they go to shapes, they pick up a connector line and then they draw from one of these grids to the connecting point and lock it to the shape that they want to connect to. The point is, I want to draw it three times without going to the insert shape section three times. Let's see what is the option here. I delete this shape, I go to insert, I go to shape, I pick up my favorite connector. Before I click on it, I right click on it. Yes, I right click on it. It's giving me an option saying lock drawing mode. I click on the lock drawing mode. Next thing what happens, notice, I go to the middle point of this originating shape. I start drawing the connector, connect it to the destination shape. Notice the icon still will allow me to draw the next shape without going to the insert shape tab. So quickly, one by one, I'm able to draw three shapes, three connectors without going to individual insert shape tab. Now once you have done, if you press escape, the icon will change back to normal and then you can work normally. So this was about lock drawing shape and it's very useful in case you want to draw a certain shape multiple number of times. For example, one of those occasions where you would want to draw a star or a smiley or a cloud. Notice I right click on the smiley face, I say lock drawing mode and I can continue drawing that. And if you remember from our previous discussion, if you want to draw a perfectly symmetrical shape, you might as well press shift first and then keep on drawing the shape. So the power of two techniques, one is to keep shift pressed and draw the shape and the next is lock draw mode. Hello everyone. I'm sure while you were working with the Excel worksheets of my videos, you would have noticed one thing common that good number of worksheets doesn't have the grid lines. Now the question is how do you disable these grid lines so that the sheet looks like a word document appears clean. To do so, go to view tab. On the left hand side, you will notice something called grid lines and take that tick away. And as soon as you do that, it looks like a complete white sheet with no borders around it. Now this is only applicable for one sheet, the one in which you're working. If you want to do that same for the next sheet, you'll have to go to the next sheet, go to view and say grid lines tick off. That's all about deactivating grid lines. I hope you enjoyed our YouTube videos and I really, really appreciate that if you could subscribe to our videos which will also encourage me to give more such videos in the times to come and you can also watch some of our popular programs which have been liked by a lot of viewers. See you soon.